Hello everyone and um, you know welcome to machine learning from data so this is the uh, fall 2020 online edition and let me tell you a little bit about machine learning okay so the the, the premise of, of, of machine learning is very broad basically there's a problem that you'd like to solve you don't know how to solve it but you have some data that you can use to help you solve the problem okay so there's a problem you can't solve it, you have data. Maybe the data can help solve it. And that kind of a situation is encountered all over the place today, ranging from you know social sciences, economics, finance, uh, e-commerce, biology, medicine, physics, engineering, you name it. Okay. Machine learning is almost everywhere because that premise is very broad. Okay. Um, now, this is the online version of the course and you know that poses a few challenges and in order to make those challenges disappear it helps to be very organized about taking the online course okay so i'm going to give you a few tips that will make the online experience smoother they're very simple tips they are very easy for you to implement and so there's nothing lost in implementing them and improving your learning experience so the first, and, and basically these tips are all geared towards making the course, even though it's an online experience, feel more like a live experience. Okay, so the first thing, you know, when you're in a live lecture, you're in this, immersed in this lecture room, you know, listening to some professor, let's say, lecturing on the board. Well, this suggests that when you're watching the lectures, you know, try to immerse yourself in the lectures to whatever ex extent possible. And what does that mean? That means don't watch it on a small iPhone, okay, or a small laptop or a small screen. Try to watch it on as large a screen as possible. Immerse yourself in the lecture. Get the experience that you're in a lecture. Okay? So that's relatively easy to implement. Second step, when you're, when, you're, when you're taking a live class, you know, twice a week, you walk to the lecture, you take the lecture and then you leave. Okay, it's a routine. Every week you do this for 13, 14 weeks. Nothing stops you from doing that in the online lecture. So make it a routine. Make it a formal experience. Every Monday and every Thursday, let's say, you watch the lecture. You watch one lecture, then the next. Watch one lecture, let it absorb. Watch the next lecture, let it absorb, and so on and so forth. Learning takes time, and it helps that you sp space it out a little and do it in an even sort of routine manner. Okay, so large screen, you know, watch the lectures periodically, do it in a routine manner, okay. And then my last tip is, you know, when you're watching the lectures, don't just watch the lectures, especially not while lying down in your bed or while slouched on a couch. No, okay, it's far better to watch the lectures on a normal chair with a table or a desk in front of you, your notebook and a pen and take notes, just like you would in a lecture. Okay. If necessary, brush your teeth, change into some nice clothes and do all of that. Okay. Now why? You might think, well, take notes? What is this guy? Is this guy crazy? The slides are available, the recorded lectures are available. Why am I gonna waste paper and my time taking notes? Well, you don't need to waste paper, but taking notes is a very important act of learning. So yes, slides are there, lectures are there, but that's just material that's being presented to you. You have to learn. Okay, and that's the key. How do you learn? You don't learn by just absorbing material at will. Okay, you learn by actually performing sort of some active, you know, uh, processes that commit things to your memory, commit things to your understanding. And, and that's why I'm suggesting you take notes. Okay? So when you're watching the lecture in a class and you know that you know once the lecture is over, it's gone, you're forced to take notes. Well, force yourself to take notes in the online setting. Watch the lecture. Okay? Focus. Try to understand what's going on. Even better, now you have to sort of extract the important points and summarize because you can't write down everything. And that summarization act is an act of learning. And then you write down what you have summarized as important and that writing down commits it to memory. So all of that is going to enhance how much you learn. Okay? So 
Um, machine learning is everywhere. It's a very broad premise. It has lots of applications. Okay. This is going to be a theory course. And so, you know, learning the theory will place you ahead of the game as opposed to not knowing the fundamentals and the foundations of the field. Okay. And it's an online version, so you can enhance the online version by trying to make it look more like a live version. And with that, welcome again. And, you know, look forward to seeing you at the first lecture.